Good morning. Saturday morning, you can uh, hear a lawnmower probably in the background. The washing machine's going. I'm running to the grocery store in a few minutes, but I had about 15 minutes and I wanted to do a quick craft. Not been online for a while. Um, been moving, as most of you know. I keep saying I'm gonna come back and do a video, and I've done a couple of videos on my timeline, but I've not had a chance to do any on here for a while. So I've got a uh, stencil that I absolutely love. It's called Bloom Where You Are Planted. And with spring, you know, I like to decorate for the different times of the year. So I've done my Easter, now I'm going into spring. So what I'm going to make is a, I'm using our, I think it's a nine by 12, but it, the opening is like an eight and a half by 11 black frame. Uh, go the right way, there you go. You can see it that way. And it comes with a hanging hardware that can go with the little holes that are right here. So you can hang it this direction or sideways. So let me make sure I've got the holes in the right place. So I want that to be my top. I have been known to do them backwards. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my um, stencil and fuzz it up so that it doesn't stick too much to the stencil. Now, if I was going on class, I, class, glass, I wouldn't have to do that. But because it's going on a solid surface, I need to fuzz it. So I'm going to put the camera down and... Uh, you can watch what I'm doing. Like I said, I've only got about 15 minutes, so it won't take long, I hope. Okay, I hope you can see that okay. Let me turn it just a hair. And I'm gonna back it up some. You know, you can tell that I've not done this for a while because I'm not very proficient at it this morning. I'm gonna slide this back over some. Whoops, wrong way, okay. I think that'll give you the idea. So first thing I'm going to do is, and if you're not familiar with Magnolia Design Co, it is a screen print stencil that you use with chalk or ink. The chalk goes on the solid surfaces. The ink is used for ceramics and for fabric. And I have to tell you, I joined, I think it was last September, and I am having the best of times. So to pull the stencil off the backing, and I don't have a pen. Yes, I do. Well, I don't want to write it with a pen. I want to write it with marker. Normally, I would write the name of the stencil on the back. So when I go to put the stencil back on, I know which one. But since I'm only working with one stencil, I'm okay. So what I do is I just take my finger and I just barely roll it across the edge and it lifts the stencil up. Now, I start from the corner, but I like to pull from the center so it doesn't stretch the stencil. So it just comes off. And I'm going to set this to the side over here. And then I'm just going to lay it down, place it on the pad. Now, if you don't have one of our pads, you can use a t-shirt that you're using or a towel. It's just I bought this early on and I really like using it because it's simple and easy. And I like to fuzz it about three times before I use it. So I'm just going to do it again, rub it down. Again, I lift from the corner and pull from the center. And we'll do one more fuzz. And I just kind of move it around a little bit on the little pad. And you know, I'm not one for fancy names and stuff. And do you think I can remember the name of the pad? No. This stencil is called Bloom Where You Are Planted. So now that I've done that, and let me see where I put this. Remember that I've got it right side up. Okay, right side up. Here, here, there, there. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move my backing sheet over to the side. Do not throw away the backing seat sheet. You can see it's got a shiny side and a matte side. You always pay, place the stencil on the shiny side once it's dry. So I'm gonna place this on my frame and I'm going to try to line it up straight and center it. And I have to tell you, my husband, I call him Eagle Eye 
because he has the capability of spotting anything that's not straight. Me, if it's close, I'm okay with it. I've got something stuck to the back of it. Must be a piece of fuzz. Okay, so I wanna make sure I get all of the bubbles out of it just by rubbing my hand back and forth. And the reason you wanna do that is you don't want any of the chalk to bleed underneath. Now, what I'm going to do first is I want to do orange. I'm gonna use three colors of our chalk. I'm gonna use orange, and I'm gonna use green, and I'm just putting these across like this, just putting some on the stencil itself. And then I'm gonna do a combination down here in the floral unit, and I hope you can see how I'm just dotting the colors around And I'm going to add some orange to it. And I guess I should have put more green down in the bottom, so let me add a little bit more green down here, since that's the grassy area. And then I'm going to add some yellow in the top part. And I like this method because it gives me all different colors and I don't have to be exact. I'm gonna do a yellow on this butterfly, and I'm gonna do an orange on this butterfly. Okay, so then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my squeegee, and I'm just gonna swipe it across the stencil. I wanna do nice, smooth, even strokes so that it's smoothed out even. I don't want any uh, lines like that. Now you can see where I got it down into the green, so I'm going to have to have a little bit of green in that part, but that's okay. May add a little bit more orange. Uh, you know, I hey, apologize for putting my arm in front of the the screen. And you can go both ways when you're doing chalk. When you're doing ink, you usually want to go one direction only. But I'm just pulling this down to the bottom of the word bloom. Make sure I don't have any lines in it. Okay, so I've got that done. Whoops, a little bit more there. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with the green. Now, I should be using a separate uh, squeegee for the green, because that's gonna be one solid color. Let me grab another squeegee real quick. And I'll do the green. And boy, I think I got plenty of green on this one. So I'm going to do, what's happening is I'm doing the bloom in orange. I'm doing where you're planted in green. Let me wipe that off. And get it nice and smooth. And then, because down in the bottom part, I'm using all the different colors, I can use the same squeegee. And I'm just gonna go across. And I'm gonna have multiple colors in this area. Now, if I were to go in multiple directions, I would blend all the colors and it would come out something a little different. And I forgot to bring a wipe in. Let me grab this disinfectant wipe. When I'm done with my uh, stencil, I just wash it off with water and I use our little cleaning sponge. And then I wipe it with a disinfectant wipe so that it reactivates the stencil uh, stickiness on the back side. Now again, this has only been a few minutes since I've started. We can look at the length of the video when we're done and we'll see how it turns out. And so that I don't go off the stencil, I try to go from the out from the edge in on the bottom part. Just to make sure I've got all the parts filled. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a 
So I think I've got all the lines out. I'm going to wipe my squeegee off and we'll reveal the results. Let me just fold that. Oh, boy, I just got it all over my fingers through the cloth. All right, so we're going to fold that over so it doesn't get on everything. And I'm going to peel this thing off. So what I'm going to do, the thing, you like that professional sound, the thing, the stencil. Again, I lift from the corner. And then I pull from the edge. Now, you hear how that's sticking? That means I really did not fuzz it enough. It should not be sticking that hard. So bear with me while I pull it off. And again, I don't want to stretch the stencil. Normally they come off very easy. I'm going to turn it so I'm pulling it toward me. this here for a moment and I'm not sure if you can see the finished result easy enough but there we are bloom where we are planted so that was like uh, 10 minutes and I have a completed piece of art now if I decide I want to change this out because it is a chalkboard uh, surface I can just take a, a wipe wipe off the surface and do something for another season. So I don't really have to buy a new frame every time. Uh, however, I tend to like certain things and I leave them. But there's the finished surface. What do you think? Comment below.